let's look at another function. Now, there's another function that he works hand in hand with the if function. That is called uh, v lookup and also the h look up. Now, these three functions work hand in hand. You can use one of them uh, to be able to find some, uh, to, to fulfill a certain condition that has been set for you. So, uh, in this case, I want us to see how the VLOOKUP works. How do we use the VLOOKUP? Now, the difference between these two, uh, the VLOOKUP and then the, 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 the IF. With the IF, you just type, it's quite a lengthy formula. And uh, the VLOOKUP is quite shorter. But they all try to check through the conditions and then give us the, the results. But uh, with the VLOOKUP, we need first thing to do is to create a table like take an example here you've been given a task you're told we, you, you, these are the different salary scales of different people from u1 up to u5 and you've been assigned a task of giving them the basic salaries that are there okay so we may have set the u2 u3 and so on as codes so we need to feed in there salaries here the basic salaries so in such a scenario the, the quickest thing to use is the vlookup now here we first create a table every view in every vlookup we first create a table having the different uh, upper limits of these uh, these uh, salaries or these uh, values so uh, this is our table it is saying that for someone to get you one must have two million for someone to get you two must have 1.5 million. For someone to get you three must have one million. And so on up to you five. Okay. So we are going to now use the same that principle to try to put up our our basic salaries. So still we start with the equal sign equals uh, v lookup. Okay. Then we open our brackets. So the lookup value is always the, 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 the cell address you're referring to. Okay. So now this time around we are referring to the U5 or the, the, the salary scale of this first person. Then we put a comma. Okay. The next thing is the table array. Now the table array is the table you have created at the bottom here. So you move down and select it. Highlight the table. So when you highlight the table, you see that it will have been fixed in the formula already. Okay. So what you do, you play, you, you 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 ensure that you fix this table here. Fixing, you're keeping it constant in case you are copying to other cells. So what you do, we call it that's the absolute referencing. You absolute reference it. So you use the dollar signs to try to absolute reference it so uh ensure you only we are only absolute referencing the, the table array the table that we highlighted don't again do this do it to the set to the first value because this one has to keep changing when we copy it downwards so uh, after that we put the comma the column index number column index number we are saying where should our values come from our table is having two columns one two but where should we get the values from to be put as our results we are getting them from the second column so the column index number we set it at two okay the two is because we have one two okay and the second one is the one producing the results that's where our results are supposed to be so we shall put there two as our column index number then we put a comma true we have true and false true is representing approximate and then false is representing the exact now when we say approximate it means that the system is going to check anything which is in the range we use ranges this happens when you're you're having ranges like for example if they told you that someone of you one should be between this 51.5 and 2 million it means any value in between that the system will put uh, to, to million but here we are looking at 
giving an exact value. For some anyone where there is U1, it must be 2 million, not, not anything else. So that is why we set this as a true, sorry, an exact match or the false. So you click on the false, then you close your brackets. So look, watch your formula very well. Equals the VLOOKUP, B, this one is this value, the value we are looking, we are checking through. Then this is the table that you created. The two is where the answer is coming from, and then the false is the exact result that we want. Then we press the enter key. So here we are. So when you look to this, U5, when you look to U5, U5 is 300,000. Okay. So we expect that the rest also will have the same thing. So we copy it downwards until the last person. So here we are. So you will see that every person has been given a basic salary based on the uh, salary scale that has been uh, given. So that is how we can try to use the VLOOKUP. Most importantly, make sure your table has been set up. Now V is for vertical, okay? Meaning your table has been set up vertically. Now when you set up your table horizontally, it becomes a horizontal lookup function. That's what you, uh, that's what it means. So that's how we can play around with the VLOOKUP function. Thank you very much.